From the creators of The Simpsons, Seven brings you Futurama tonight. and Tim Smith knocking down those flags, Zali Stegel and jazz trumpeter James Morrison. Ben Elton's bad boy, Steve Bastoni, the man in the middle, Michael Caton, and taking it into overdrive, Kim Hope. Red-headed rascal, Libby Tanner, Sultan of Swell, Mark Ocalupo, and hot to trot, Tony Goldsmith. The host of All Star Squares, oh, yeah. Ian Rogerson. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, welcome to All Star Squares, the game show where one-upmanship isn't just a rule, it's a way of life, particularly for our celebrities. Hey, celebrities! Hey, watch it, watch it. Of course, we have our carryover champion with us, Gary Lesky. Welcome back, Gary. You've Thank won you. uh, cash and prizes to the value of $3,500 already. Well done. <laughs> Good luck. And we have a new contestant, Naomi, Ms. Circle. Tell us about yourself, Naomi. Hi, guys. My interests are um, star signs, politics, um, brains, and my daughter, Stephanie. Whoa, that's a, that's a pretty big resume yeah. there, Naomi. Whoa. Oh, cool. Welcome aboard. Good Thank luck. You. Okay, just to run through the rules here at All Star Squares, what you've got to do uh, to win a game is to get three squares in a row, whether it be across, up and down, or diagonally. And the way you get a square is one of our contestants picks a celebrity, I ask a celebrity a question, if, and if our contestant agrees or disagrees correctly with that answer, they get the square, it's that simple. First game's worth $250, and you're our carryover champion, Gary. Who would you like to start off with? I'll start with the delectable Kim. The delectable Kim Hope. <laughs> delectable. Mm. Okay. Kim, in rhyming slang, what is a king dick? <laughs> I can't see how that rhymes with federal treasurer, but. Um... <laughs> uh, it's a stick. Yes, yes, it's a stick. Gary? I'll agree. Incorrect, I'm afraid it's a brick. Oh. Circle gets the square. Tim Over to you, Smith, Naomi. Please. Oh, Tim. No. Tim. <laughs> nice. Yes, it's already started. Yeah. Okay, here's the question. What was so different about the birth of Prince Edward compared to his brothers and sister? His father actually carried him around for the last three months of pregnancy. <laughs> was the weirdest thing you have ever seen. <laughs> no, actually, he was a caesarean section. It's, that's true, no? I'll agree. Incorrect, I'm oh. afraid. His dad, oh. Prince Philip, was present. X gets the square. <laughs> Gary. Oh, no. Ah, no. <laughs> I'll go for Steve. Please. Steve Bastoni. What one common feature makes the platypus and the echidna different from all other animals? Well, they're both silly looking, but uh, it can't be that. Um, they both have their own websites. Oh. Uh, okay, no, they are egg-laying mammals. I agree with mammals. And you'd be correct, they are egg-laying mammals. Eggs gets the square. Naomi? I'll go with Libby for the block. Naomi. Libby. <laughs> Here it comes. According to the Encyclopedia of Dreams, to dream of goldfish means what? Your water bed's busted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, goldfish. Well, being a Piscean myself and Naomi, you'd go along with this. Piscean's have to go through a little bit of madness first, but then, after that, they have pleasant success and adventures. Ooh. I will agree. That's correct. Success and pleasant adventures. Circle gets the square. Yeah. 
Um, I'll go for James Morrison. Oh, the fantastic okay. James Morrison. It's a good choice. Good choice. If an ancient Egyptian has his eyebrow shaved off, what's the most likely reason? <laughs> he's just had his bucks party. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, he's actually, he's actually, I do happen to know this one, he's actually mourning the death of his cat. <laughs> That's serious. Cats were very sacred to the ancient Egyptians. I'll disagree. Incorrect, I'm afraid he is mourning oh, the death of his cat. I tried to turn you, mate, I tried to turn you. Circle gets the square. <laughs> Naomi? Michael Caton for the win, please. Michael Caton for the win. Michael, at which time does the second dog watch begin on a ship? What a silly question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, Pluto, Ralph, here we are, you know, sort of, uh, what time is it? Woo, woo, woo. Um, I don't know. 6 p.m. I will agree. And you'd be correct, it is 6 p.m. Very well done, and you've won the game. $50 is yours. Well done, Naomi. We'll be back with game two on All Star Squares in a minute. Stay tuned. It's coming. From the auditions to the recording studios. I've got a shower. From the excitement to the embarrassment. Oh my God. Be a fly on the wall as five talented Aussie girls claw their way to pop star. I want to be a pop star. Pop star soon on seven. Info break. Today we're at Masterton Park with Susie Yates and Mike McGill from Masterton Home. Hello, Susie Yates, back again at Masterton Park. I just thought we'd come out and check out some of the latest developments. I wanted to ask you, have you ever found yourself thinking along these lines? We'd love to build a new home, something really modern, but we don't want to leave the area that we're living in. I'd love to build a new home, but I don't want to move away to some new housing estate. We're thinking of renovating, but it's going to cost so much. We're better off spending a tiny bit more and building a brand new home. Hi, Mike McGill. Listen, can we help any of these people at Masterton Homes? Hi, Susie. Yes, we can. I'm here to introduce the Masterton Knockdown deal. If you're happy with your area, but not your house, Masterton Homes will build your brand new home by knocking the old one down. It's a great idea, but doesn't demolition cost a fortune? No, with the Masterton Knockdown deal, we'll even assist you with costs in that area. So where will they live, Mike, when their house is being knocked down? Susie, we, Masterton Homes, will talk to local real estate agents in the area mm. and find them a rental property nearby. Sounds great, Mike. What sort of house will fit on that block of land? Well, let's go and look at a few. OK, we will. OK. This is the Pacific. It's a great house. Tell me a little bit about it. Susie, the reason the Pacific's ideal is you get so much accommodation in such a small footprint. You've got mm -hmm. four bedrooms, you've got an upstairs living room, study downstairs, loads of accommodation. Ideal for small block solutions. Mike, this is the Twin Oaks. It's a duplex. Tell us some of the benefits. Susie, this is ideal for uh, somebody who wants to live in one home and rent out another. Mm -hmm. uh, so it provides an income opportunity for them. Uh, alternately, uh, for investment purposes, it's ideal. It's really big too. There's four bedrooms in this one. Four bedrooms in that one. People are generally very impressed by the space in these homes when they come through them. So if that existing block of land is a little bit smaller, then the Hamilton is the perfect solution. Yes, it is, Susie. Would you believe the Hamilton fits on a block, that, a block of land that's only 12 metres wide? Mm with no loss of accommodation, four bedrooms, good living areas, spacious uh, dining, spacious family room. How about the kitchen? Very generous. The thing I love about coming to Masterton Park, Mike, is there's always something happening, and in my opinion, the grounds are just looking better and better. They're lovely, aren't they? And uh, we like to think, Susie, the care that we take in the maintenance of the grounds is uh, indicative of the care that we take uh, building the customer's home. And there's always so many homes to inspect. There's 20 of them here. 20 homes, and they're constantly changing. I suppose you could say new homes for a new millennium. Absolutely. So if you can identify with any of these statements, make your way out to Masterton Park and I'm sure they'll find a creative solution for your dream home. Plus, if you mention this info break segment, you'll receive the stainless steel appliances at no extra charge. It's the wall oven, the hot plate, the range hood. That's when you order your new Masterton home. Please come out, have a look at Masterton Park for yourself because I know you'll enjoy the experience, the atmosphere and the wonderful designs. Welcome back to All Star Squares. 
is that Naomi has won the first game. She's got $250, but the next game's worth $250. So, Gary, it's a chance for you to bounce right back. And also, we have the added incentive of the secret square. Behind one of our celebrities is the AstroVac Central Vacuum System. And for the people at home, here's the secret square. OK, you won the last game, Naomi. Who would you like to start off with? Tim Smith, please. Oh, oh Tim. <laughs> Capricorn Naomi, does it mean anything to you? <laughs> in a recent interview, David Bowie revealed that he's getting into an exciting new business. What is it? He's going to be drawing puppy plates for Franklin Mint. <laughs> uh, he's always loved them. He's been a plate collector for a long, long time. No, he's actually starting his own internet server company. He's right into computers. I'm going to agree. And you'd be correct, he's starting his own internet provider service. Circle gets the square. Gary? Um, I've got to go for Libby, I haven't asked her a question. Oh, here we go. Put it in, honey. You know our celebrities appreciate that kind of behaviour too, by the way, Gary. Here comes the question. Mel Gibson recently donated $1 million to which Australian institution? NIDA, because they needed it so much. Oh. <laughs> oh. NIDA. I'll agree. And you'd be correct, it was NIDA, the National Institute of Dramatic Art. X gets the square. Naomi. I'll go with James Morrison. James. Mm -hmm. James, according to the book The Human Body, what gives your body its basic shape? My body? <laughs> Any, no, anybody's body is the same thing, it's junk food. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, it's, actually, uh, it's actually your skeleton. Your skeleton gives it its shape. Yeah, I'll agree. Incorrect, I'm afraid. It's his muscles. Your muscles oh. actually do it. Oh, X sorry. gets the square. Gary? Um, well, I've definitely got to go for Michael for the win. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, if I pointed out a row of Hacendados, what would we be looking at? Truth, not another dado. <laughs> <laughs> it's the revenge of the dadai. <laughs> <laughs> now it's it's plural for house in Spanish, so it would be a row of houses. Uh -huh. I disagree. Incorrect, I'm afraid. It's plural for hacienda, so you'd be looking at Spanish American houses. Circle so gets the square. Naomi. Toddy for the win, please. Toddy for the win. Toddy, which American animal is also known as the washing bear? Oh, I love a bit of a bear to wash my dishes. But what else would um, do? Thank you for laughing. What else would wash dishes but a beaver? Or wash, you know, be called the washing thing. That's a noise they make. Did I get that out? Are you with me? Beaver is the answer. Beaver. No. I'll disagree. And you'd be correct. It's the raccoon that wins you the game. $250 is yours. We'll go straight into our next game, which is worth $500, but also the secret square hasn't gone off, so it's moved for those people at home to this square. OK, Naomi, who would you like to start off with? I'd like James Morrison, please. James Morrison. <laughs> James, who played the beer-swilling ochre in the 1972 Australian film The Adventures of Barry McKenzie? Beer-swilling ochre? That'd be Shane Warne. <laughs> yes, uh, that, uh, that was... That was uh, <laughs> Wasn't was one of mine. Barry, 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 Barry Crocker. Barry Crocker played that. Naomi? I will disagree. Incorrect, I'm afraid it was Barry Crocker. Oh, X just gets the square. Right, anyway. yeah. I trust I've got to go right. for Timbo. Oh, thanks, Aquaman. Tim. <laughs> Here we go. Why do emperor penguins huddle together? Because they're cold. <laughs> Plain and simple. I'm not going to joke it up, mate. I'm going to tell it to you. <laughs> Have you seen the place where they live, Gary? You know, I mean? like, let's, let's just go. Do the math, mate. They're cold. I disagree. Oh. Correct, I'm afraid it is to keep warm. <laughs> Uh, 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 for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I mean. I'll have Toddy, please. Toddy. Toddy, what title did People magazine recently bestow on Harrison Ford? 
Oh, I oh, love Harrison Ford. I'm going to give you this one straight. You're going to get it right because it's a chick thing. Sexiest man alive. Got to be. I will agree. And you'd be correct. Sexiest <laughs> man alive. So we'll get to the square. Gary? It's got to be Michael for the block. <laughs> Michael for the block. Here we go. That's right. Michael, what lumps on your body are poked and prodded by a phrenologist? <laughs> <laughs> well, knowing my luck, mate, not the good lumps. <laughs> I think it'd be the lumps and bumps on your head. Gary? Uh, I disagree. Incorrect, I'm afraid. It is lumps and bumps on your head. Uh, but you don't this. automatically get the square, Naomi. And we'll be back to find out what happens with this cliffhanger game in a second on All Star Squares. <laughs> Saturday, a premiere special. A rare insight into the home of the Prince of Wales, where he's turning his dream of environmental sustainability into reality. Six years in. Six years years in. A rarely seen garden of spectacular beauty and a rich array of native wildlife that's become the Prince's life passion. Trying to rediscover the importance of the natural cycle. Highgrove premieres Saturday 6.30 on Seven's World Around Us. Milano Furniture showcases the latest in European furniture design. For the latest trends, the latest styles and the latest in design, look no further than Milano Furniture. Milano Furniture, European design at affordable prices. Thank you for calling Lube Mobile, the mobile mechanics, Joe speaking. We have a Holden Commodore VH model 82. Why am I smiling so much? I've just bought this factory second video camera from Electronic Sales and Service. Why do I get it so cheap? Because of this tiny mark. I've just bought this factory second stereo at Electronic Sales and Service. Why have I saved so much? Because it was last year's model. And I still get the full 12 months warranty. Get yourself a deal at Electronic Sales and Service right now. Nine, six, two, one, six, three, double six. Discount prices at Sleep City, yes. No deposit, 24 months interest, free terms, yes. Top quality timber beds, bedroom furniture or inner springs at factory to you prices. Pay no deposit, get 24 months interest free. Sleep City, Sleep City, here we come. Welcome back to All Star Squares. We are still in the middle of game three. And uh, it's worth $500, and the secret square still hasn't gone off at this stage. Now, Naomi, I believe it is your turn. Who are you going to pick? I will go with Michael Caton for the win. Michael Caton for the win. Michael, according to legend, what was the name of King Arthur's legendary capital? Ah, this is a bit of a bit like a Baywatch story, you know that, don't you? <laughs> Just like a Just like It's it, Avalon. Legendary, it never happened. Avalon. No. I will agree. Incorrect, I'm afraid. It's Camelot. Oh. X gets the square. Oh. Gary? Livy. You and Gary. I do. Livy, turn out for the win. <laughs> Okay, Libby, in Gone with the Wind, when the city of Atlanta is burning, the producers use sets from which other movie? Towering Inferno? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Wizard of Oz. Oh. <laughs> Gary? <laughs> Disagree? Speechless. And you'd be correct, it was the sets from King Kong. So you financially won that game. $500 is yours. So we're neck and neck here. We'll get straight into the next game, which is worth $1,000. I should also mention we are under the clock as well, too, folks. Sooner or later, it will ring. Then we'll have to stop. But uh, you won the last game, so who would you like to start off with, Gary? I'll try Steve. Got to go for Steve. Steve Bastoni. 
Steve, where were Venetian blinds invented? On the back of Valiance. <laughs> nice. I grew up in Brunswick, that's where I'm from. <laughs> no, well, Venetian in Venice. Disagree? You'd be correct, they were invented in Japan. X gets the square. Naomi. James Morrison, please. James Morrison. We'll get it this time, we'll get it this time. Love it. James, what Ooh. does most of Australia celebrate on the second Monday in June, but Western Australia celebrates in October? Oh, yeah, I know that one. Uh, that's the arrival into Australia of Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> no, OK. No, it's the Queen's birthday. Yes, I'll agree. And you'd be correct, it yes. is the Queen's birthday. Circle <laughs> gets the square. Contact. OK, I'll go for Tim Smith. Tim. Oh. Oh, mate, don't make me hover above your house in a helicopter. <laughs> Tim, it can happen to Tim, according to the Bible, what did Noah's descendants build when they reached Shinar? Shinar. Shinar? Uh, Shinar. Well, a flying fox, actually, and no one can understand why. Uh, it's <laughs> a pointless answer, really. Uh, no, it was the Tower of Babel. Okay. I'll agree. And you'd be correct, it is the Tower of Babel. X gets the square. Naomi. Libby for the Libby block. Libby for the block. <laughs> Lib, before jets existed, what was jet lag called? <laughs> Horse lag? <laughs> Boat lag? Boat lag. Oh, I'll oh. Oh. Naomi? I will disagree. Incorrect, I'm afraid. It was boat lag. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, X don't automatically get that square. You have to earn a win on this show. Gary, who would you like to pick? Ah, uh, the irresistible Libby. Oh, the Libby. Yeah. Here we go. According to New Idea, what's a common household item that will keep ants out of the sugar bowl? An ant eater. <laughs> <laughs> um, clothes? Disagree? Incorrect, I'm afraid it is close. Oh, oh, nice. Circle gets the square. Michael Caton, here we go. <laughs> Michael complete this famous saying, old soldiers never die, they simply what? Fade away. <laughs> <laughs> I will agree. And you'd be correct, it's fade away. You've won the game and bring you up to uh, total of $1,500. Oh, there's the time. So that means that, uh, li uh, that I'm happy to say, Naomi, you are our new carryover champion. Well done. Now, Gary, Gary, you've got $3,500 worth of prizes and also you get to take this with you as well. The finest French crystal is yours with a superb set of Constance Goldrum stemware. With four red and white wine glasses, four whiskey and juice glasses, this set is valued at $250 from Crystal Dark. Gary, congratulations. Well done. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, Naomi, you're our carryover champion. You've got $1,500 and we'll be back with a bonus round to see if you can get yourself some fabulous prizes to go with that money when we return with All Star Squares. <laughs> What do you do when the kids are always on the phone? All very simple. The tool man's installing a second line. Uh-oh. And it's communication breakdown. Take up the lost art of letter writing. Tonight, 7 o'clock on 7's Home Improvement. In sport, number one for back to school. Human Switch Black Suede from $59.95 with a free $30 human backpack. Converse Black Suede, $99.95 plus a free $30 Converse folio bag. For back to school, see In Sport at a major centre near you. When you sleep better, you dream better. 
Sleepmaker. What dreams are made of. Dreaming of a new TV but have too many bills? How about a factory second and save up to 50%? The old fridge on its last legs? A new one just beyond your reach? Why not a factory second and save up to 50%? Only at Electronic Sales and Service, where you'll also save hundreds of dollars off video cameras, VCRs, stereos, fax machines and much, much more. Come and make a deal with King Brian at Electronic Sales and Service, Blacktown and Penrith. Phone 9621 6366. 400,000 doesn't buy you much in Sydney, does it? Or does it? There's a new land release at the Sanctuary, where house and land packages start from 395,000. The Sanctuary. See for yourself because it speaks for itself. Dolphin. Once a year a day comes We can all make amends Smile at somebody new now Hey, you got some new friends Cause it's Australia Guinea Australia Guinea Sometime this Australia Day we'd like you to say a big Australia good day to someone new. That's how great friendships start. Cause it's Australia Guinea Australia. Oh yes, welcome back to All Star Squares. It's bonus round time. We have a brand new carryover champion, uh, Naomi Stecklenberg. I hope I got the name right. I think I did. Perfect. Fabulous. I'd oh, love to hear that. Uh, Fifteen hundred dollars you have already. Let's see if we can add to it with prizes like these. Hey Naomi, you can put your feet up and let the chefs on the run do the cooking. This fully catered five course meal for ten with wine and champagne is prepared by professional chefs in your home and it's valued at $2,500 from Chefs on the Run. Swiss craftsmanship meets modern technology with this pair of Jensen ladies diving watches. Made from gold coated stainless steel, they're water resistant up to 200 metres. Together, valued at $2,000 from Classique. Live it up on the Gold Coast at Aruba Beach Resort. Staying in the heart of the restaurant and shopping areas, this seven-night holiday for two, valued at $1,740 from Aruba Beach Resort and Greyhound Pioneer. Sit back, relax, and let the hot spot spa soothe your cares away. With adjustable hydro massage jets, it's low maintenance and portable with room for four adults. Valued at $5,450, it's brought to you by Hot Spring Spas. Spa time. Okay, Naomi, each of our celebrities has an envelope. Inside that envelope is, of course, those prizes. Who would you like to pick? Well, Michael Caton's brought me luck tonight, so I'll go with him. Lucky Michael Caton. <laughs> What's in the envelope? Uh, sp sports car seat and steering wheel kit. <laughs> Drive in luxury with these Avenger Air Lumber Sport car seats with fully adjustable body hugging design. They come with this mahogany four spoke steering wheel. Total value $2,100 from SAS. Oh, uh, yes, Naomi, you'll be cruising with that. Okay, Michael, here's the question what, What's an anti pope? <laughs> Someone who was improperly elected as pope. Naomi? I will disagree. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Someone who was improperly elected as Pope was the right answer. So, you I, I didn't get the prize, but you have got $1,500, which is fantastic work. And we'll see you again tomorrow night. This will be good for you. As well, thank you so I much, celebrities, for a fabulous evening. Very well done. And we'll see you next time on the Kooky All-Star Squares. Good night. Our guests stay at Eaton on the Park. Celebrities and contestants receive chocolates by Duck Door. Produced by the Seven Network Australia in association with King Law Productions. Gavin Wood speaking. Rafter, seven.